Hey everybody, Curseus here with Delta Rune. Now this is what everybody is calling Undertale 2 right now. But actually I've done a little bit of digging and yes, okay, this game is made by Toby Fox. This game is related to the Undertale universe. But I did I did the research and Toby Fox himself has stated that this game is not Undertale 2, but rather this game is expanding the universe of Undertale. So there are recurring characters, familiar faces, all that stuff. So in other words, this game will not make sense if you haven't completed Undertale. So... You know, that, you take that into whatever you can. And Toby, you know, come on, like, why, why, why do I have to use the uh, the arrow keys, Toby? Come on. You know what WASD, you, you, know, you know what WASD is, Toby? You know, WASD, W-A-S-D? You know, th th those, uh, those keys are much more commonly used for movement. Anyways. So, you get to actually create, from everything I've seen, I've only seen a little bit of gameplay, so it's not too spoiled for me. But you do get to create your own uh, protagonist in the beginning here. And that looks like, looks like Frisk's head from Undertale. Um, okay, I like this head. Select your torso. I like that torso. And then legs. What kind of legs? I like those legs. They all look kind of the same to me, but whatever. This is your body. Do you accept it? Sure. Excellent. You have created a wonderful form. Now, let us shape its mind as your own. What is its favorite food? Truthfully? <laughs> Pain. <laughs> I like sweets. My blood type. I am an AA, I think. What color does it like the most? I like blue. Please give it a gift. Kindness, mind, ambition, bravery, voice. I like voice. How do you feel about your creation? Uh... Hope. Have you answered honestly? Yes. You acknowledge the possibility of pain and seizure? Well, I just love that! Thank you, uh... Toby. Understood. <laughs> Name your vessel. Um... His name is Steve. No. <laughs> A pet named Steve. Uh... Like, I don't really believe it's a direct sequel in any way. I wonder if he'll allow me to name him Frisk. We called it Frisk. Okay. So definitely... And what about the creator? My own name? Josh. Yeah, that's me. Excellent! <laughs> Truly excellent. Josh. That's me. Thank you for your time. Your answers. Your wonderful creation. Will now be discarded. <laughs> no one can choose who they are in this world.
your name is Chris. Ha! Chris, if you don't wake up, we will be late for school. Look, it's Toriel. That's pretty cool. But yeah, but yeah, um, Toby, you know, if you do actually see any of these videos, could you please convert the controls over to a classic WASD? That would be much preferred. So, you know, I can have left hand on WAS and right hand on the enter button for input. Anyways, I'll wait outside for you, all right? It's really awkward for me to have my right hand on the arrow keys and my left hand on the enter for input. What's this? Oh, it's a kitchen. There's some cinnamon batter cake caked on the stovetop. Ooh. I'm going to look around. There are many books. Tales of Snails, a storybook. Snails do not have tails, a scientific re refutation. Can snails help your garden? Um, not really. And a signed copy of The History of Humans and Monsters by Gerson Boom. A cactus. There's not much to say about it. Well, it's a cactus. There are crayons in the drawer. Their labels have long faded and there's no green. It's only you. Well, good. I'm glad it's only me. The door is locked. Oh. I like exploring, though. What's this? It's the bathroom. You looked inside the sink cupboard. There's a can of ice, ice ease, cool boys, body spray. Spray for the boys. Flaming hot pizza flavor. <laughs> Seems to be almost entirely full. Why? It's a toilet. Flush it? Well, yeah. You flush the toilet. <laughs> nice. On the shower ledge, there's a small container of apple scented shampoo and a gallon sized container of pet shampoo uh, pet shampoo for toriel i guess what's in the fridge oh okay there's a photo on the fridge it's of you your mother and your brother it's a trash can somehow it's emitting a pleasant floral scent cookie cutters for gingerbread monsters and gingerbread humans It's a cher cheriel. The beloved living room chair. <laughs> it's cheriel. Okay, yeah, like Toriel, but it's, okay. It's the TV. It doesn't even, even be plugged in anymore. What about that chair? What about this? What about, that? what about this book? It's a book of hymns. Okay, lovely. Chris, there you are. We might still be able to make it. Chris, it is a beautiful day today, is it not? I hope it stays this way when Azrael visits next week. Kind of weird that Azrael is a recurring character, but I wonder after the excitement of university, will he still enjoy coming home to this little town? Huh. So yeah, plenty of recurring Like There's Undying. So a lot of stuff kind of weird. But th this is... Like, this is an... Like, is this, a, like, a different... Because, remember, the first Undertale dealt with... Um, the many worlds theory. Oops, you know what? I need to fix something. Well, okay, fixed. Anyway. I gotta get rid of that stupid thing for I use for streaming. It was on the screen still. But, anyways. So, the first game dealt with the many worlds theory... You know, that there are many options, all options exist, all possibilities exist. The, my thought here is, is this game just one of those universes? So, and here's Alphys. So, does everyone have a... Oh, yeah, there we go. I'm here. Oh, Kr Chris, we thought you weren't coming today. We're doing group projects this month. Uh, so, walk around and find a partner, okay? Crisp! Oh, I want Versaries. Tim already have a partner. Yo, Chris, show up earlier next time. I ended up having to partner with Snowy, haha. <laughs> now he keeps turning to me and saying, Howdy, partner, like a cowboy. Partner? I hardly know her. 
Haha, <laughs> what do you think of that one? Funny, right? No? Well, I got news for you, pal. I already got a partner. Scram. Well, you're not very nice. Ah, Chris, late again, I see. Hmm, you need a partner? Sorry, I'm already partners with the second smartest student. Though, wait, Chris, now that I think about it, your unique skill set might help a lot in this assignment. <laughs> not. I actually want to get an A. You're nice. Click, click, tap, tap. Taken. Chris, you know, Jackington and Caddy are always partners. We're the ultimate academic duo ever since our first gym class. It was hula hoop day and they ran out of hoops for us. So she used me instead. That's our origin story. But it doesn't make sense that everybody has a partner. There's an odd number of students. Besides me. Three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. There's an odd number of students. So how can everybody have a partner? This is lies. This is bullshit. Hey, Chris, what's up? Did you lose your pencil again? Here, you want the can cane one or the one with lights on it? Huh? You want to be partners? I'm sorry, Bird, Bird Lee already asked me. But I could ask Ms. Alphys if we can make a group of three. Why do we need a group of three? There's an odd number of students! Ask if you're sure. Yeah, ask. Okay, I'll ask. Miss Alphys, um, is it okay if we have a group of three? Hey, what? No, I did not approve this. Abort! What? But Chris doesn't have a... No, what were you saying? She was just saying we're fine being alone. Actually, I just wanted to know if... No, can you please speak up? Oh my god. Hi, Susie. Oh, obviously, this is like the bully of the school. <laughs> Am I late? <laughs> oh, uh, no, no, no. You're fine. We were just uh, choosing partners for the next group project. And um, Susie, you're with Chris. <laughs> Great. And now that everyone's here, I'll write the assignment. Uh, has anyone seen the chuck? This is the third time it's gone missing, and you all know I can't start class without some. How about this? If no one speaks up, everyone gets in trouble. Uh, anyone? P please? <laughs> hey, there might be a box in the supply closet. Miss Alphys, why don't Susie and I... Good, good idea, Noel. Susie, since you came in last, why don't you go get it for me? <sighs> Whatever. And Chris, you can go with her and make sure she um, actually gets it and um, stays out of trouble. Thanks, Chris. See you later. But why? Why do I have to go? Chris, what's the hold up? Get out of here. Or get out there. <sighs> Chris, didn't see you there. Hey, you didn't see anything just now, did you? No. Hmm. You can't even say. Chris? Let me tell you a secret. <laughs> like, whoa. <laughs> Quiet people piss me off. You think just because you don't say anything, I can't tell exactly what you're thinking. It's over. I caught Susie eating all the chalk. This was her last chance. Now she'll finally be expelled. Haha, <laughs> come on, Chris. Don't act shocked. You know it's true. Everyone's waiting for it. Everyone wants it. So congrats, Chris. You got me. I'm done for. Just let me say one little thing. Seems like a waste to get expelled just for having a snack. So, Chris, Chris I know you're going to pull the trigger. <laughs> Why don't I just get expelled for some real carnage? Chris, how do you feel 
about losing your face. Wow. <laughs> nah. <laughs> Chris, you've got a good mother. It'd be a shame to make her bury her child. All right, let's get this over with. We'll get more chalk, Muzzy back to class, and then Chris, you'll do our project. How's that sound? Don't bother answering. If you haven't gotten it by now, your choices don't matter. Wow. Let's go, freak. God, can you walk any slower or what? Nah, I get it. Not used to walking around without someone holding your hand. Come on, freak. Stop calling me freak. Actually, I don't care. Well, here's the closet. Too bad. We're just starting to have fun. Hey, Chris, is it me or is it really dark in there? What's the hold up, Chris? Are you gonna go in or what? Fine, if you're gonna be a wimp, then I'll... Well, we'll both go in at the same time. See, why are you so scared? There's nothing in here but old papers. Let's try to find a light switch. Is there a light switch? Hmm, that's weird, I can't find a switch. Guess it's further in. Kind of big for a closet, huh? You'd think we'd have reached the end by now. Hey, Chris, I think this closet's, uh, broken. <laughs> there aren't any walls. Well, we've worked hard enough. If Alphys wants to talk so bad, she can get it herself. Let's split. Wh what the? Hey, this isn't funny. Let us out. Let us... The, the floor, it's... Um, collapsing? For some reason? Well, I guess we'll find out. Oof. I hit the ground. It hurt. My clothing is different. I'm just uh no, that's the quit. Ah, see. Okay. Items, equipment, wooden blade. Interesting. That's right, C and X and Z. I tried to call on the cell phone. But it doesn't seem to be working. Oh, hello. At times you see it flickering, the light only you can see. By second nature, you reach out and... Save! But it saves with the real name you gave it. How interesting! Maybe. Ah! Hold on, shift, and you can uh, sprint. something glowing inside. Take it? Sure, you got the glow shirt. It's too dark to see anything. Oh, 
Oh, interesting. You bathe your body in the light. The power shines within you, breaking through the darkness. Any pain you may have had melted away. What's this? In this land, only eyes blinded by darkness can see the light. Okay, that's nice. Well, that was an easy puzzle. Love those kinds of puzzles, though. Hey, hey, back off. Come any closer and I'll... Oh, Chris. Hey, don't scare me like that, dumbass. Unless you want to get clocked in the face. Anyway, enough screwing around. We gotta find a way out of here. Um, where is here, anyway? Susie's uh, clothing's changed too. It doesn't matter. You got us into this. You get us out. Lead the way. Oh my god. Never mind. You walk way too slow. I don't walk that slow. Especially since I learned how to sprint. Hey, Chris. There's someone up there waving at us. Any ideas what they want? Ooh. Run. Ooh, ooh. You can't hit me. I'm too pro. Down here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Nope, nope. You can't hit me. And you didn't. You didn't hit me. You didn't hit me at all. Yeah, let's go. Oh, you're not dead. Sweet. Got any idea of what the heck this place is? Me neither. Wonder if there's anyone in that building up there. It looks like a shop, but the door is locked and no one's inside. It's locked. It's locked. I think they're all locked. It's locked. Yep. It's sure are locked. In front of you, a castle looms beneath the empty town. A black geyser emerges from it. Piercing endlessly into the sky. The power of this place shines within you. It's quite an interesting castle. Whew, a castle? Why the hell is there a castle inside a supply closet? Welcome, heroes! Who's there? Do not be alarmed. I am not your enemy. Please, come forward. Both of you. Okay. Well, it's a dude in a cloak. Welcome, I am the prince of this kingdom. The kingdom of darkness. Chris, Susie, there is a legend in this land. A legend that one day two heroes of light will arrive and fulfill the ancient prophecy foretold by time and space. Please, heroes, listen to my tale. Okay. Very well, then. Let's listen. Gotta listen to the tale. Once upon a time, a legend was whispered among shadows. It was a legend of hope, it was a legend of dreams. It was a legend of light, it was a legend of dark. This is the legend of Deltarune. The legend of Deltarune, okay. Which is the name of the game. For millennia, light and dark have lived in balance. Bringing peace to the world. But if this harmony were to shatter, a terrible calamity would occur. The pacing's good. Anyways, the sky will burn black with terror, and the land will crack with fear. Okay. 
then her heart pounding, the earth will draw her final breath. Only then, shining with hope, three heroes appear at world's edge. A human, a monster, and a prince from the dark. Only they can seal the fountains and banish the angels' heaven. I wonder what that means. Only then will balance be restored. And then the world saved from destruction. Interesting. Today, the fountain of darkness, the geyser that gives this land form, stands tall at the center of the kingdom. But recently, another fountain has appeared on the horizon. Oh, lovely. And with it, the balance of light and dark begins to shift. Okay. Chris, Susie, thank you for listening to my long tale. I deeply believe you two are the heroes of legend. That despite whatever enemies you may face, you two have the courage to save the world. Delta Warriors, please, won't you accept your destiny? <laughs> uh, nah. Wh what? <laughs> Me, some kind of hero or something? You've got to be, you've got the wrong person. But, but Susie, without you, the world will. So what if the world gets destroyed? It's none of my damn business. It might even be kind of fun, honestly. Anyway, Chris, if you want to play pretend with this weirdo, stick around. I'm going to find a way out of here. Susie, wait. <laughs> that was nice. <laughs> the heroes are already running away, and they didn't even know I was here. My dad's gonna make me son of the month. Who the hell are you? I'm... The bad guy. You clowns want to seal our dark fountain, huh? And still picturing you guys as clowns save the world from eternal darkness, huh? Eh. Don't try to deny it. We both know you'll go east. It's your only way home. But I, Lancer, won't let you go there. And I've got a flawless two-step plan to ensure it. Step one, I thrash you. Step two, you lose. Hmm. Nice plan, kid. Really? Yeah, actually. Mind if I use it on you instead? Okay, this combat looks pretty cool. Spare, defend, act, fight. You tell Lancer to watch out for Susan's attack. He readies himself. Halt, clowns, this bike is fueled by victory. Whoop, missed. Don't know how I got an axe, but, like, that's cool. You tell Lance that he can't tell the difference between his clothes and his body. He seems flattered. His attack power went down. Oh, you make my feelings do really, sweetie. Ow. Interesting. Lancer's motorcycle is actually just a bike that's on fire. I mean, I've already done the two things. Can I spare him? No. So what are you guys doing after this? Lancer's writing it out. Compliment Lancer again. They seem to see sees it as insincere. His attack power goes back up. Did you not realize I can mask my lo level of self-esteem? Wait, wait a second. My bike's running out of fuel. All right, you punkaroos. You had the luck of the draw this time, but next time the losers will be you. Haha! <laughs> Bye, losers. I gotta get home before dinner. 
Zero EXP and 36 monies. Are you two okay? Um, allow me to introduce myself more properly. I am... Jesus, can you take off that hood? I can barely hear you under there. Uh, um, alright. <laughs> Hello, everyone. I'm... Ralsi? Chris, Susie, it's ever so wonderful to meet you. I'm certain we're going to become great friends, and... The best way to leave is east, right? Yes. That's where we'll... Got it. See you at school, Chris. Um, I suppose it's just the two of us, then. Chris, I'm a prince, but I um, currently don't have any subjects. I've been waiting alone here um, my whole life for you two to arrive. So I'm really happy to meet you. I hope we can be good friends, Chris. Let's try to find Susie. She must be to the southeast. You can lead the way. Woohoo! Let me sprint. Oh, I wasn't hitting the right button. Ralsei, the lonely prince is now your ally. The power of fluffy boys shines within you. Okay. Oh, it's a training dummy. That seems like a great chance to prepare for the enemy. Would you like me to teach you how to fight? I kind of got it, but let's go ahead and take a look. See that heart, Chris? That's your soul, the culmination of your being. Within, within it holds your will, your compassion, and the fate of the world. If it gets hit, you and your friends will lose HP. If everyone's HP reaches zero, we'll lose the battle. So please, take care to avoid the enemy's attacks. Ready? Let's try dodging. Wow. That's how you dodge. Great job, Chris. You're a natural. Anyhow, after the enemy attacks, it's our turn. First, I'll teach you how to fight. Though fighting is unnecessary in this world, there are, there's no harm in a thorough lesson. Let's try fighting. Oh, my bad. Oh, sorry, Chris. I forgot to mention. When you're attacking, press Z again when the cursor gets in the box. Yeah, Chris, by the way, you'll do more damage pressing C when the cursor enters the box on the left. Okay, next try defending. Simply hit the defend and it will hurt you less. Not only that, but you'll also get our TP. Watch the orange bar on the left. I'll explain it next. Okay, great job, Chris. Now that you get our TP, how's about spending that TP on one of my spells? Because you hit the enemy enough, it got tired. Now if I use my pacify spell on it, it'll fall asleep and we'll win peacefully. Ralsei see you cast Pacify. Great, Chris. We would have won the battle by now. Now I have just a little more to teach you. Acting through this, even though most violent enemies can be defeated through various acts of kindness. Chris, though, it's just a dummy. Why not give it a hug? You hug the dummy. Aw, oh, that's great, Chris. Even <laughs> each enemy has different acts that satisfy them. When the enemy is satisfied, its name turns yellow. When that happens, you can defeat it by sparing it. If we spare all the enemies we meet, we'll never have to fight. You hug Ralsei. Okay, Chris. Um, I don't think um, this is what you're supposed to be doing. But... <laughs> but thanks? <laughs> I just wanted to see what would happen. Alright, let's spare. Chris spared the dummy. Great job, Chris. That'd be the end in a real, in a real battle. I'm really happy I had the chance to teach you. You won. Zero XP and one dollar. Oh, that was fun. You're a wonderful student, Chris. And er, in case you ever need a refresher, I... Here, I wrote a manual for you and Susan. Press C to open the menu and use it in your items. You got the manual. Awesome. Let's go. Oh my, the great door is open. No wonder my answer was able to come through. Chris, once we pass through this door, our adventure will really begin. A journey foretold exactly by the prophecy. But Chris, I believe your choices are important too. This world is full of all kinds of people. Chris, in the end, 
how, how we treat them makes all the difference. So let's try our best to get by without fighting. If we can manage to do that, I believe this tale may have a happy ending. Otherwise, I fear that you may not find the result favorable. Oh, I'm sorry, is that too much to ask? I can handle it. Chris, I knew you were here the moment I saw you. Let's try our best, alright? So let's go. Going through the door. The door is shut. It has the that symbol. Toriel has that symbol on her clothes. With the door closed behind you, your adventure will truly begin. The power of adventure shines within you. So I'm going to go for about a full hour of recording. Because I'd like to get like the full uh, the field of hopes and dreams. Sing the song. Enemies ahead, you're going to die. Sign Lancer. Let's have a talk, huh? Rudin, Rudin, Garthman. Room that we're fighting. It was utterly swayed. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Ah, ah. And I can spare him. Chris spare brood in. Woohoo! Get money and no XP, so it's just like the first Undertale. You get you get money for sparing enemies, but no EXP. If you're reading this, I guess you're dead. Well, if I'm reading it, no, that's quite the opposite problem. Anyway. Hey, don't read this sign. It's a work in progress. Sign Lancer. Oh, 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 if it isn't my two favorite people. It's like, you guys aren't even in my top five. Lancer, where's Susan? You mean the purple girl? Oh, oh, oh. You fools, you're too late to stop me. What did you do? Ah, ha, ha. It was so simple. She beat me up, so I ran away. <laughs> That's a bit anticlimactic. <laughs> so, are you just going to stand there? I thought you would at least run to the right. Why? The purple girl's over there. <laughs> so Susie's over here. Hey, if you head that way, my troops will thrash you. Is that a threat? I prefer to think of it as an imitation. Oh yeah? You told Rune the quick fight. It was utterly swayed. Woo! Chris spared Rune, okay. Oh, oops, I didn't want to fight. I'm just a normal person. You're not a person, you're a monster. Nope, 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 nope. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Like, stop fighting! Okay. And spare. Give me your monies. I get, I get the monies for sparing them. Mama Miba, I'm top chef. My latest cake worked me to the to exhaustion. So I took a little nap, but Mama Miba, the scary nose, woke me up. A beast was hunched on the table, eating the cake like an animal. I spritzed it with water and it hissed and ran off, but my wonderful cake is... Ah, uh, Chris, that sounds like Susie. We must be going the right way. Let's try to keep her out of any more trouble. The remains of the cake are still smoldering. Take a piece? The broken cake was added to your PMs. Come here, you! So yeah, I'm actually really enjoying this. Whoa, 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 whoa.
Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh! Bastard. Call her a sweetheart. We gotta think about this. Oh, okay. I'm stupid. And spare. Keep going. Check the clock in order to solve this puzzle. You'll have to hurry. Oh. There we go. Okay, I got it. Very interesting. Behold the maze of death. Prepare to get lost. Clowns, sign lancer. I'm not a clown. Feeling lost yet? You must be utterly helpless among these twists and turns. Your sense of direction won't save you now. Signed, Lance. Hey, wait, where am I? Help, somebody help, I'm lost. Signed, Lancer. <laughs> you opened the treasure chest. Inside was white ribbon. You put white, white ribbon in your armors. That ribbon is armor, Chris, and it increases defense. Why don't you try wearing it in the equipment? I think it'd look great on you. Equip the white ribbon. Excellent. Let's go down. Hey, don't look. This sign's private, sign lancer. Oh, it's just this way. Sign lancer. Okay, well, I want to go see what's over here. If this is not... Oh, hello. Well, whoa, wait a minute. Even if you're my enemy, I've got to warn you. A purple beast is roaming, clobbering anyone who dares block their way. Sob, we don't even like fighting. The king left us no choice. Oh, oh Chris, we need to stop Susie quick. So Susie's beating the shit out of everybody. How did he beat me over here? Oh, oh, somehow you survived the maze. But don't count your blessings before they hatch. Let's see how you fare against this team. Three handies and block away, huh? Called heavy as well. Begin to think about this. Hey, hey, why aren't you guys thrashed? You're totally outnumbered. You made a team purely of support enemies. Their bullet patterns aren't balanced at all. It's like a dinner made out of three glasses of milk. And that's, um, unusual somehow? Why don't we talk about this after the battle? Yep, pretty, uh, pretty easy, uh... Yeah, I'm not gonna take that damage this time. And defend. Can I... compliment and spare in the same turn? Oh, wait, wrong way. Damn it. That's actually going to be something I'm going to, uh, science later. Great job, Chris. We are in... No, it's being all money. Sweet, how much do I get? You lost, Lancer. You don't get any. No. Can I have some of yours? No. Fine. Later, losers. He wanted my money. Screw that. Can't have my money. Sup? I thought you were running away. Yeah, I finished. <laughs> oh, great. Oh, you bastage. How am I supposed to...
I'm um, Chris. I think we might be missing something. Maybe we should try to get the next room. Yeah, I think we I need uh yeah, okay, I need Susie. Oh, uh, open you up, you stupid door. Oh great, it's you guys. Susie, we were here ever so worried about you. Um, how did you get past those spikes before? Walk through them? But this door sucks. Aw, uh, don't worry, Susie. It'll open after we solve the puzzle over there. Nice. Tell me when you finish it. Um, Susie, we need you to finish it. Sometimes proceeding will take all three of us. Furthermore, only Chris can seal the dark company. So if you don't accompany us, you won't make it home. So you're saying I have to stick with you guys? Yep. Let's just get this over with. Yahoo! Susie's back on the team. Cue the fanfare. <laughs> I, love, I love all the, the classic cliche RPG cliches they're making fun of, but uh, but I still like it. Susie follows at a distance, such that no one can tell she's associated. <laughs> Okay, so I should be able to do this. Okay. Sound like a door open. Like, I was still gonna fail it. Like, come on. Oh, Chris, I just realized Susie missed the tutorial. Next battle, we should show her how to act. I think she might really enjoy that. See round attacked violently. You recall Rossi's advice to include Susie in the in an act. Okay, next compliment. You ordered Susie to flatter the enemy. What? Why the hell would I do that? And attack this. Let's smash it before it moves. Aw, oh, look, Susie, it seems harmless. If you act nice, we might win without hurting it. Okay, okay. Hey, little guy. I really like the axe in your the axe in your face. Where'd you get it? Um, Chris, maybe I should talk to her. You won. Yeah. Uh, oh wait, hold on. There's a sign there. I want to read the sign. Hey, yeah, 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 I think I made a sign. Sign line, sir. Um, Susan, I suppose you missed what I said earlier. As heroes, we have the power to make a peaceful future. So from now on, let's try to avoid fighting, okay? Um, what if you just took it easy on them? If you weaken an enemy, I can use my pacifier spell, which can put exhausted people to sleep. Yawn, yeah, you, you talking is already doing that. Well, um, just think about it. We might have to warn enemies about her, Chris. Hey. Hey kid, you want to buy a tutorial? It's only 50 dark dollars. No. They said, oh, I just want to sell 20, 20 dark dollars. No. One, only one dollar, please. All right, one dollar. We're sorry, we're normally puzzle guys, but We've been forced to do tutorials just to make ends meet. When the king got power, he fired everyone and replaced all the puzzle makers with him. Rooksul's card, Lord of Puzzles. Whole goals. One dollar monthly tutorial, weekly, ten dollar weekly tutorial monthly. One hundred stop making tutorials. If you only act, you might start to think, what about the guy with the scarf and paint? If you know acting will make you enemy friendly, then you can ask me to spare on the same turn. Oh, so you can, okay. I was wondering. Or cast pass five, you know they'll get tired. If you plan ahead, a lot can happen in one turn. Hey, who's the master here? Me or you? Reviving? When HP goes negative, your friends fall down. But bringing them back is easy town. Plain foods and spells work like a charm. And with a mint, you can cure all harm. Even normal items and spells can revive people. Yep. That's what I'm saying. Okay. 
It's a good idea to give us bucks. It'll make you happy and fill you with bucks. Over there is our donation hole. We had a box, but it got stolen. When Chris uses warning, Susie can't hit. So make sure to. So there's no reason to use it. Unless you want it to not hurt. So there's no reason. <laughs> Susie always attacks the foe on top. She'll smash them with a crushing chop. She always strikes at the first thing she sees. Oh no, oh no, she's looking at me. Alright, that makes sense. Susie loves when you give us money. She will... Nope, don't care. Did I say something funny? I'm the Ralsei Master. That's what Ralsei's... No, okay, that's self-explanatory. I am TP Master, but TP's secret. TP only lasts inside a fight. Once you win, it's out of sight. Having extra feels unbearable, no point in saving, it's straight up terrible. The leftover TP turns into extra money at the end of the battle. I mean, I only should. Oh, okay. Donation hole. If you like our tutorials, please throw your money into a hole. I'll give him a dollar. What's up with the shop? Hey, hey, welcome, travelers! Um, armor, defensive charm, spooky sword. I'll take the sword and the card. Just in case. I mean, see you again or not. Actually, I didn't see if I could talk to the uh, shopkeeper about anything or not. Let me see if uh, you can talk to the shopkeeper. Yeah, you can. Okay. Talk about yourself. The name seem pronounced... Shom? Okay. And this is my little shop. Oh, okay. He just says it. He spells it weird. Over the years, I've collected odds and ends. Of course, I have no attachment to any of it. It's just a hobby of mine. Around here, you'll learn to find ways to pass the time or go mad like everyone else. Lightners? Long ago, the darkners lived... Darkers! Darkners lived in harmony with the lightners. They were like gods to us, our protectors, our creators, those who gave us purpose. Then one day, we were all locked away in, a pres pres prison a in this prison, and the lightners never returned. Embittered, the king took up arms and aims to take revenge upon the lightners that left us behind. Of course, even his troops, some still distantly hope the lightners will return. Kingdom. Historically, this land was ruled by the four kings from Card Castle to the east, but recently a strange knight appeared and three of the kings were locked away. The remaining king put him and his strange son into power. This land hasn't seen as much chaos since. Haha, uh -huh, well, you don't need to know about that. We're legendary. Ha ha ha, so you are the heroes who are going to seal our fountain? Ha, huh, good luck. It makes no difference to me. Neither light nor dark will hold a future for a darker, darkener in my condition. Okay. See you again. Or not. Interesting. Ah, huh, hello. Susie, the violent tormentor, is now your ally. The power of mean girls shines within you. Well, flip my flapjacks. The clowns are back in town. Well, bad news. Since you last saw me several minutes ago, I've created a brand new fighting team. Are you ready? Ready to stop you? Not even the purple girl can stop you now. Ho, ho, ho. Are you ready to be... Stop. Stop talking. Ho, ho, ho. What is that? Are you trying to say that? Ho, ho, ho. It's my evil laugh. Scary, right? You sound like baby Santa Claus. Uh, you mean like in a badass way? Mm -hmm. Shut up. You really think you know how to be scary? Well, I... Wrong. And wannabe tough guys like you really piss me off. Face it, you wouldn't know scary. 
and they picked you up and bit your face off. That's not true. Oh, really? Then why don't we prove it? We'll start with the part where your face gets bit off. <laughs> uh, okay, I get it. Thank you, purple girl. What? Thanks, I was... It was kind of you to teach me how to be scary with an evil laugh. Hey, I wasn't... And now... You're going to be thrashed. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. I guess that's kind of an improvement. Another puzzle. Oh no. Let's read the instructions. Uh -huh. The instructions are vandalized. It says, Those fools, thou will never figure it out now. Ruining instructions is definitely against the rules. Then it um, says, P.S. I make my own rules. Well, that explains that. Why don't we just climb over this spike fence? Um, because then we'd get impaled and die? Cool, it'll work. I'll work on that and you do the puzzle. Um, try your best, Chris. There we go. Great job, I think you're on to something. Hey Chris, give up whenever you feel like it. It's all good. Oh, shut up, I don't need to give up. This is easy. Wahoo, well, you did it! Good job. Damn, didn't get to impale myself. Oh well, come on, chumps. Good job, Chris. <laughs> okay. Alright. You warned the enemies about something. Everyone went on a guard. Monsters. Vent. Spare. But I like money. Okay. What's this way? When you step into the light, you'll return to where you were before. Interesting. Oh, enemies respawn. Oh, interesting. Damn it. Alright. 
go, go, go. Hey! One of the enemies about to. TP by uh, barely dodging bullets. Okay. the great board. The halfway point to our castle. Hmm. Impressive. So it's a shame you won't make it a step further because my guys are about to smash you in the blood. Lots of blood. Splooshing blood. Very gross and bad. Hey, purple girl. Was that scary? <laughs> Why are you asking me? Because you're really cool at being terrified. Or really good. Or I want to be as scary as you. Stupid. But, um, the new laugh isn't as awful. Saying you turn us into blood is, uh, cool. What the hell is up with the bucket, though? Just to put the blood in. Oh. Yeah, I'm not, uh, supposed to make a mess. Anyway, thanks for your feedback. I'm really feeling scary. Um, no problem, I guess. So, are you guys gonna attack us, or? Oh, yeah. I was so excited I forgot to bring any guys. But next time it'll be the end for... Hey, i just been calling you guys clowns. Does your team have an official name or something? Oh, Chris, we should come up with a name. No, we shouldn't. Then it's decided everyone put, puts a name in the bucket. Alright, everyone put, put in their entries. Blue person, you can choose. Since you look like you don't care. I'll take Susie's paper. You take the crumpled up piece of paper. You opened it up. And your name is? Hmm. I don't think I'm allowed to say this one. <laughs> I figured. It's pronounced. It's Funk Squad. Anyway. Whoa, I'm not allowed to say tier 2 swear words. Wow, you, you three. Three's collective dad must be very cool. Er. Could we perhaps consider a different name? Ross, you don't have to be in our squad. Yeah, how about I be in the squad and you... Okay. Here, call up my dad. Tell him he has a new son. One that has to take a shower every time he reads a swear word. <laughs> okay, fine, we can keep the name. I just won't say it. Ha, ah, me too. See ya, losers. For some reason, I knew it was going to be a swear word, which is why I kind of chose it. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. That's great. Alright, I'm gonna keep going. Oops. I wasn't looking. Okay, now I was looking. Okay. No! Leave me alone! Leave me alone! Ugh. Ow! If 
fell asleep and then spared. Fond men are scary, but all in all they're doing is following the king. Us on the board used to have our own boss. Those were peaceful times. But now even the boss group are used to the king's piano. Interesting. Fear not, we, unlike the simple pawn men, possess full faculty over our actions. I, Mr. Society, am far too intelligent to ever bow down to such a tyrant. Unless he asks me, he's very scary, you see. Oh, well, step on my boots. But isn't the name I'm not allowed to say? <laughs> you boys and or girls had better turn back while you can. <laughs> Nicer, what is it this time? Oh, 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 I'm simply warning you. Something extremely dangerous is lying ahead. It's actually really inconvenient. I can't go home at all because I'm so scared. <laughs> but what is it? Oh, hey, little guy. What? That, that's what you're afraid of? Uh, wow, Purple Guy, you aren't scared? <laughs> Why would I be? What's it gonna do? Mm, well, normally... Oh. Oh. It crushes people to death, I think. Wait, no. Oh. Hey! Ah! Ah! Should turn back into a little guy. Susie, help us bow, bow at it. Nah, it's this crown will come off. Oh, I smash this guy into the ground. Ah, ah! What do you think you're doing? The crown is 15% loose. can't be beat by uh, regular attacking. Susie, stop attacking it. You're making it stronger. <laughs> and let it think I'm afraid? No way. percent loose okay oh. 
I was hoping it would just pass its turn and heal again. 90% loose. Bow. Coming Nintendo lawsuit. Anyway, you won. We we did it. Wow, you clowns really are heroes. You saved the next twenty minutes of my life. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty great, huh? Um, Susie, not to downplay your contributions, but you you actually didn't didn't actually help at all. You only made everything worse by attacking. It. If you had just acted nice to it in the first place, we could have avoided that entire battle. Huh? Are you for real? That thing was bloodthirsty. The only thing keeping it at bay was my axe. And earlier, you terrorized those troops. Those guys were enemies. They're for terrorizing. Yeah, she's right. And before that, you ate an innocent person's cake. Cakes are also my enemy. <laughs> Susie, whether you like it or not, you're a hero. One with the power to bring peace to the future. Could you please start acting like one? Yeah, when you lay it out like that. I've been a pretty bad hero, haven't I? Alright, Ralsei, you got it. I'll change my ways. From now on, I won't be such a rotten hero anymore. I'll just be one of the bad guys instead. But really? You're going to be on my team? Yeah, sounds way easier, honestly. Susie, you can't just... Quiet, Two-Faced Boy. Susie's my comrade now. Haha, <laughs> yeah, Two-Faced Boy. We're going to have monogrammed track jackets. Yeah! And sleepovers, where we tell each other secrets. Um, yeah? Anyway, uh, see you guys never. Haha, <laughs> if you can never last that long. Okay, so Susie's just being a bitch. That's okay. Chris, perhaps I shouldn't have been so hard on her. But I just worry that if Susie is too eager to fight, then, well, let's just be kind to her, okay? I'm sure Susie will come around soon. Woo! The blocky foliage, foliage grows thick above your head. The power of the forest shines within me. I'm gonna save. Okay, uh, that's actually where I'm gonna end this uh, video off. Let me know what you guys think. Honestly, uh, for an Undertale Universe game, it's actually pretty good. Um, to be honest, uh, the combat system seems updated. Like, it's it's improved over before, but different. And... So, I just... I think, um... Uh, overall, I like it, and I, I like where it's going. And the story's pretty good, and that looks like Sans's room from his house in Snowden. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to see more of this, leave a like on the video, hit the notification bell, do all that stuff, share this video, and I'll see everybody in the next video. Bye-bye.